The Straw Hat Pirates are a small but ferocious group who are making a splash in the Grand Line. Deriving from the weakest of the four seas in East Blue, nobody expected much. With an average bounty of 3 million, the Straw Hat Pirates were never seen as a real threat until the post time skip era. My name is Potential Unleashed, and here are 10 times the Straw Hat Pirates were heavily underestimated. Nico Robin, the demon child, had turned herself into CP9 in order to save her Nakama. Luffy and Zoro had already lost to Rob, Luchi, and Kaku in an attempt to save Robin. Spandam, thinking the Straw Hats are weak, basically said they can't save Robin. Luffy as captain gave Soy King the order to shoot down the navy flag, which meant they were going to war. Each Straw Hat had their own individual fight, showing off new special moves, including the introduction to Gears, Danbo Jambe, Monster Point, Kito Ryu, and more. CP9 were underestimated the crew for not having a bounty and were ultimately defeated. We all know our favorite three sword style swordsman got humiliated by Mihawk. At first, Mihawk didn't think of Zoro as someone who'd be a threat to him, not really taking him seriously. But because of Zoro's will and tenacity, he started to take their fight seriously. Scars on a swordsman's back are their biggest shame, was Zoro's words before he was done in by the Black Blade. Seeing Zoro as a potential rival later down the line, he encourages him to get stronger, so one day he will surpass him. Miha underestimated the tenacity of the young swordsman. Two years after being MIA, the Straw Hats dive into Fishman Island. <laughs> dive in, get it? Like, <laughs> like in the water? Okay, no more puns. The Fishman Hody Jones has had Fishman Island in fear, and only one crew can stop him. Showing off their hard work after training for two years, the Straw Hats show what they're made of, taking on at least 100,000 Fishmen. The Straw Hat Pirates defeated every last one of them with ease. This won't be the first time that a fishman underestimates this crew on this list. In a desperate act to help save Vivi's kingdom of Alabasta, the Straw Hats challenge Baron Works and Luffy fights the Shibukai Sir Crocodile. This is the first time in this series that we see Luffy be defeated, and he did it twice. Like, I'm gonna need you to get it together, Luffy. You're supposed to be king of the pirates. Come on now. His first fight against a low gear devil free user without hockey. Luffy used his brain for once and fought against Crocodile using water at first and then his own blood. Crocodile thinking the fight against Luffy the third time would be easy really underestimated him. Luffy giving it all he had finish Crocodile off with a Gomu Gomu Gatling that we all remember. After being sent to Amazon Lily by Kuma the Tyrant, Luffy was on an island where there was only women allowed. Anyone else getting a Steve Trevor from Wonder Woman vibe for this or is it just me? Anyways, Luffy had gotten some of the Amazons turned into stone by Boa Hancock and wanted to fight for their freedom. Fighting against Sandersonia and Marigold, they brought out the Conqueror of the Supreme Kings that was laid dormant inside of Luffy. Knocking out most of the Kuja pirates, this left Boa Hancock in shock, underestimating Luffy because he was a man. Since we're halfway through, just wanted to say if you guys are enjoying the video, let me know by leaving a like, it helps out a lot. Also subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss out whenever I upload a new video. Before the whole cake arc, Brooke really didn't do anything that made him stand out. This all changed once he encountered the Yonko Big Mom. Big Mom has the second highest bounty out of all four Yonko and was very powerful. Brooke, who is usually afraid of everything, stood in front of her and didn't back down. This man did not flinch. He acted very courageously and attacked Big Mom with everything he had and even managed to cut Prometheus, which not many can say they have done. 
Even though he lost in the end, Big Mom underestimated the musician of the Straw Hat Pirates. The Arlong Pirates were known to be the baddest crew that conquered the East Blue. They believed that fishmen were superior to any other species. All that changed when Zoro, Usopp, Sanji, and Luffy walked to Arlong Park. Each of the Straw Hats took down a member of the Arlong Pirates' head of command. Heck, even this man Usopp did that, but I didn't even expect that. The proud nose of Arlong was broken by Luffy, and the Straw Hats defeated the Arlong Pirates. Never underestimate someone fighting for a friend. In search of the famous Sky Island, Luffy, Zoro, and Nami enter a bar to ask about it. All of a sudden, a pirate named Bellany with a mere bounty of 55 men beats Zoro and Luffy up. Luffy tells Zoro not to fight back, which is a memento to when Shanks didn't fight back when Luffy was a child. Later that night, Bellamy got to see Zoro and Luffy's bounty were higher than his. Luffy challenged Bellamy to a fight, knocked him in one blow. After finding out his brother is set to be executed, Monkey D. Luffy goes to Marine Headquarters to save him. He gains assistance from the Whitebeard Pirates, Shibukai, and Revolutionaries in order to save his brother. Many people whose strengths are unrivaled like the Navy Admirals, Whitebeard, and different commanders were there as well. Luffy still charged in and would do whatever it took to save his brother. As Jinbei flung him over the wall, he stood in front of the three Admirals. They all were impressed by how far he made it for being just a rookie and that if he were to live, he would be a danger down the road. The Whitebeard Pirates and the Navy both underestimated the Straw Hat Captain. After fighting countless members of the Big Mom Pirates, the Straw Hats had one final wall to break down. To save his crew, Luffy took the first commander of the Big Mom Pirates, Katakuri, and fought in the Mirror World. At first, with his advanced observation hockey, Katakuri could see into the future and easily had Luffy against the ropes. Because Luffy was able to partially use advanced observation hockey and a combination of his newly founded Gear Force Snake Man, Luffy was able to go toe to toe with the first commander. During the fight, Katakuri was just trying to beat Luffy because of his mom's orders, but later did it change. He used it as a challenge to himself. He saw that Luffy had way more potential and would be a threat later to Big Mom. Having never been defeated, he asked Luffy if he'd be back to challenge Big Mom again as he passed out. And this is the last time the Straw Hats will be underestimated. So here we have it guys. Those are 10 times that the Straw Hats were underestimated. And now that I think about it, it was sort of kind of just a tiny bit, just a tiny little bit about Luffy being underestimated, but yeah, I'm going to keep the title the same. <laughs> let me know if you guys agree or disagree with me in the comment section below and let me know what I missed as well. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload a new video. You guys don't want to miss them. I'm coming with a lot more. As you guys can see, this is Wednesday. Hello, we uploaded a video on a Wednesday. We're trying to do two a week, maybe even three. If you guys support the heck out of this, I'll, I'll up it to three. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Those will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you guys unleash your potential.